Now we are going to discuss about how to find the technical table behind a particular transaction code. This is very important. This is the most important thing that an ABAPR should have in his sleeves or even a functional consultant will need to have it in his sleeves because without this, you cannot do any customization or anything. And without customization, your project will not run. Okay, so you go to, so I'm just giving an example. So we'll try to find what is the table behind a sales order. Okay, so first thing you have to go is SP05. Okay, this is the transaction and we'll put on the tree song. For this, you might have to bribe your SAP security guy, go and take him for uh, uh, Starbucks coffee or whatever, where, which part of the world you are in uh, for a drink or for uh, if you're from India, you can go for some snacks or whatever. Okay. Mm, if you're in Brazil, go for some cochinia or something. In Mexico, go for some for tequila or whatever. So here, so we put the trace on. Now we are going to go to VA03. Okay. So here, if you see, this is the sales order number. Copy this number. This is important. And you press enter. Okay. Once it's done, now you go to the other transaction and you click deactivate trace and now you click display trace and now you just this part you don't have to do because it has some issue with the system and we just execute. Okay, so the time you don't need to change. Now here what we'll do is we'll put, we'll do, we get this list, now we'll do a find and now we'll put this number 119 so the moment we put this number you see this is my million dollar table we back so that's the table that is the major that's the header table for sales order now this we did only for sales order let's do it for another process okay so what we'll do is we'll just close this and we'll close this and we'll try to find something another another transaction probably i'll do for work order okay so we'll just to try to find some work order here first press enter now we'll find the work order that's it so this is Order doesn't exist. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we'll go and find premium orders. Mm -hmm. So just try to get a work order from here. There's nothing here. So we'll put uh, two, zero, one. We're trying to find the test data. I don't want to go to the table and give you uh, like in in mathematics we used to have that thing right where you say oh this needs to match with this LHS equals to left hand side equals to right hand side I don't want to do that business so I want trying to get us work order from here so let's go to uh, to that don't have much here so we can search for this is still searching Oops, this is still the journey so let's put 12 1 so let's put 11 oh, we can just select completed so we, guess. we want to get list too we don't have anything it's strange so we'll put 6 function ahead we didn't have anything still uh, I need a list only. I don't need a big list, so this is churning. Let's see. Um, and in the meantime, let's do for an invoice. Okay. So, okay, I'm running out of session. Let's go here and we will stop here and we'll go for. FB03. I think I have something ready, probably. I don't know. So, what we can do is just click the document list 
and try to find one company code is 1010 suppose 1010 now let's see yeah we have find something 1002 okay so this is one vendor invoice number okay so if i put this invoice number in fb03 we'll see something let's go slash n fb03 if i put this 10 10 that's good so this is good now what we can do let me see how oh, we have got so this what we try to find something and this is so let's do one thing we'll just go and pick, let's close this one go to iw33 so iw33 what we are going to get is the table behind uh work order okay so this is display this is the work order or whatever table so now what we are going to do is now we are going to go into our transaction code okay uh, so we are going to go to st05 we will activate the trace now what we are going to do is we just go to slash n iw33 and this is the order number press enter okay after this is done what we are going to do is we go here we deactivate the trace and now we click on display trace i will change the time you don't need to change the time the system has some issues so now here we'll just search with that number so if you see here is the sales order number the, here is the table name aufk and this is correct now the next one we will do is for the invoice okay. so for the invoice we'll do activate trace again okay now what we are going to do is we are going to find this display so if you see fb03 we already opened we click enter that's it and now what we are going to do is we are going to click deactivate trace and we display trace just change the time which you don't have to do we'll execute and we'll find your we'll find with the number this okay. and if you see here it is our million dollar table bkp so we got this information so we covered in this tutorial how to find a table behind any transaction code we did it for invoice we did it for uh the the sales order and we did it for work order so so that's it uh this is very important for any sap consultant functional as well as technical to know this because then it's if you know the table name you're probably 30 percent job is done so this is very important